Hello again, YouTubers on SpongeBob 11 back here again on the SpongeBob channel, and today we have Sponge Talk episode two. All right, so this is the first video I'm making in like one month, so I apologize for the lack of videos. I just simply did not have time to make any videos because I was like 90% of the time out um, doing the stuff that I'm not really interested in talking about. So um, yeah, I finally got some time to make some videos. I actually made a Club Penguin video right before this one. So yeah, if you guys don't know that, uh, yeah, Club Penguin is closing down. So yeah, um, if you're interested in that, go over to the other stuff channel. But here on the SpongeBob channel, this uh, this edition of Sponge Talk, we'll actually be looking at once again Factory Fresh. All right, so Nickelodeon released uh, recently in the month of February, of course, when it's getting closer to the release of the episode release the uh, a couple more trailers of the episode so we're gonna actually take a look at them right now and we're gonna talk about them later and of course we're gonna be just uh, throwing a little bit more information um, at the end of the video so gonna be a very short video the only topic we're gonna be talking about here today is factory fresh because frankly there really isn't any other like sponge interesting sponge things we're gonna be talking about so I just wanted to uh, share with you guys um, one of my thoughts and you know start a discussion in factory fresh all right, so without further ado, let's take a look at these uh, few trailers. It started with an idea. Can you imagine if they had frozen Krabby Patties at the supermarket? A really bad idea. Mr. Krabs, are you changing the secret Krabby Patty formula? <laughs> this little yellow box sure is full of questions. When the Krabby Patty changes. Frozen Krabby Patties are a convenience for everyone. Everything changes. I love my job! See Patrick get famous. The face of the frozen Krabby Patty, Patrick Star. This guy is going to be a star. I'm already a star. Crabs get rich. <laughs> and everyone get extreme indigestion. <laughs> Coming to Nick, that will make your buns run cold. You're fired. Fired? Get ready to say hello, Freezer. These frozen Krabby Patties have ruined my life. And goodbye, Krabby Patty. The brand new SpongeBob special premieres Monday, February 20th, only on Nick. I miss Patrick. The Krabby Patty, like an old friend, but not too old because old is gross. Take away from the future. Does it smell like money? your dream come true call me down. alrighty so those were the three newest um, trailers that uh, Nickelodeon actually released all right the first two are still on your YouTube channel the uh, other one was off Facebook mr. Krabs is Facebook so it's interesting to see how actually Nickelodeon uses uh, finally the other characters Facebook accounts to actually promote this new episode factory fresh or as they like to call it or advertise it goodbye Krabby Patty all right so from the trailers you already see episodes coming out Monday February 20th 2017 so that's about um, two weeks from now all right and um, in general I actually liked the trailers I mean it really helped to you know create some hype about it now the first trailer of course you saw was the um, the extended trailer, the one, one and a half minute trailer, right? It shows how basically Mr. Krabs gets rich unexpectedly. Patrick gets famous. One thing I actually liked about it was that you know when Patrick was uh, signing autographs, he was actually writing his name in the way that he actually wrote his name in uh, Fry Cook Games on his name tag. <laughs> Patch Patrick. The R was like flipped the back, <laughs> you know. Um, and yeah, he drew a star there too. So. Basically, we actually learned a little bit more about the episode from that trailer alone. Essentially, SpongeBob is neglected in every way possible because now that Mr. Krabs is rich, he does not need to operate a fast food restaurant. Or at least he doesn't want to because, I mean, I mean you look at how many zeros there are on the check and the decimal points way back. So basically, Mr. Krabs is rich. He fires SpongeBob. So SpongeBob is sad, is neglected because he doesn't have a job anymore. And Patrick, his best friend, is now a famous superstar advertising frozen Krabby Patties. 
Um, one thing I don't understand and uh, something that the commercials never actually touch on is why are the bikini bottom mites so obsessed with Patrick when they know that he's advertising something that is terrible? So yeah, I don't I don't quite get that part, but I guess I have to watch the episode to see. Um, but what do you guys think? Uh, I really have no opinion on that yet because I mean I really want to see what happens. I I don't like I can't imagine what will happen. But um yeah, so those are the two main things that I kind of picked up. I mean, of course you have the extreme indigestion thing, but like you know the fish and SpongeBob were like coming out sand. Where did the sand come from? <laughs> okay, so it, it turns out it was all SpongeBob's idea, right? SpongeBob's idea, and yeah, turned on him. But um, so yeah, that was essentially the first trailer. Now the second trailer was more, uh, in the sense, artistic and um, you know, very eye-catching in a sense. Uh, apparently, some people uh, on Facebook are calling it a Mad Men SpongeBob crossover. Now, I believe Mad Men is actually like one of those uh, live-action movies, I think. Uh, or it could be a TV show. I honestly am not sure because um, I'm sorry I didn't go check, but um, I've also never actually watched it. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not intending to watch it anytime soon because I really don't have much time. But um, yeah, so uh, it was actually quite interesting, you know, I posted a, a pic from that, a snapshot from that trailer on Instagram. You can, um, yes, our Instagram is finally back in uh, operation. Go to Ultimate SpongeBob 101 on Instagram for lots of updates, alright? So we've got our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram are now coming up again. Um, of course, Twitter was always there, but yeah. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, uh, go check them out for more SpongeBob news. But anyways, so yeah, it was like really one of those like exciting SpongeBob trailers. And actually, if it wasn't used to advertise the uh, episode, it could have also been used to advertise like the Frozen Krabby Patties, which would be pretty cool actually. And uh, the so of course it was that that by that ex uh, advertising executive John Ham. <laughs> what was the name? Um, but yeah, so John Ham, yeah, John Ham. I think it was John Ham, but um. Very interesting, I liked it, but it didn't really tell us anything new in a sense. Um, the last trailer, of course, is something uh, you might recall from Season 3, uh, where Mr. Krabs actually did a Krusty Krab commercial, the one that aired at 3.28 in the morning. Alright, so uh, on Mr. Krabs' Facebook page, you have this video. Um, the lip sync is obviously off, I don't know why, but that's how Nickelodeon posted it, so, well, okay. Um, Basically, Mr. Krabs is trying to advertise the frozen Krabby Patties, and Pearl is the video record, uh, like you know, the camera, camera woman, I guess, <laughs> not camera man, right? Camera woman. So, um, yeah, basically, she's taping her dad for like a couple seconds, and yeah, it kind of brings back memories from as seen on TV. So that was actually quite nice, but I. I'm not sure whether that's actually going to be in the episode or not, but from the looks of it, I think it's going to be in part of the episode. We'll just have to wait and see. So overall, these three trailers, I think, um, were pretty decent actually. And of course, I'm certainly more excited to watch the episode on February 20th. So um, yeah, what do you guys think? Comment in the box below. Now, um, I will not be around on February 20th, unfortunately, so I can do what I want to do on that day, but um, the Friday of that week, uh, f February 24th, I'll actually be holding a Factory Fresh event, or a Goodbye Krusty Krab event, on YouTube. So basically what I'm going to be doing is, gonna, I may have a live stream followed by a episode reaction, and then a episode review. So, um, all three, but um, live stream is not confirmed because I still have to think of what I want to do during the live stream. So yeah, but that aside, we'll have the uh, episode reaction as well as an episode review. Now this is the only time I'm going to be doing an episode reaction because like, it's 22 minutes. I mean, how often do we have a 22 minute episode in SpongeBob nowadays? So yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, the next videos coming up will probably be SpongeBob comics uh, next weekend. So yeah, till then make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Make sure to keep it right here on Autumn with SpongeBob 101 and I'll see you guys next video. Bye. I hope you enjoyed Sponge Talk number two. See ya.